You're listening to the Abra Money 3.0 show, your guide to the future of all things money. Today's podcast is all about Tron, a decentralized blockchain platform that allows developers to deploy their own decentralized applications. Joining us to discuss this project is the one and only Justin Sun, founder and CEO of Tron. He and Abra's CEO, Bill Barhide, cover a lot of ground in this conversation. Everything from how Justin got the idea for Tron, the number of developers working on the protocol, and some of the dApps running on it, to why he's such a huge believer of the token economy, and some of his thoughts on what blockchain projects he thinks will get support and adoption in China. But before jumping in, remember, the information presented in this podcast is provided for informational purposes only and should not be used or construed as an offer to sell or a solicitation of an offer to buy any of the financial assets discussed. Any opinions expressed herein are subject to change. Neither Abra nor any of the participants in this podcast make any representation as to the suitability or appropriateness of these financial assets for individual investors. And with that out of the way, on to the show. Hi, everyone. Bill Barhead here. Welcome to another exciting ep- episode of Abra's Money 3.0. Uh, joining me today is the infamous uh, Justin, f- Justin Sun from Tron. Justin, welcome to Money 3.0. Hi. Nice to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you. Good to have you on. It's uh, It's been a long time coming. I'm really excited about our conversation. Uh, let me let me just kind of forego the the intros and just jump right into to I, I think the the question that's on everyone's mind when does crypto become useful what do we have to do as a community as well to make crypto useful for everyone whether they know it's there or not um i, I think there is uh, like uh, several factors effects on the uh, crypto um, user case uh, first of all i think is the um is the fiat on ramp? So, um, so I, I think lots of the um, companies already doing this. Uh, for example, like 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 a Circle uh, they do in USDC, uh, Tether they do in USDT, and uh, Plonex, Binance, uh, like all these uh, uh, kind of the companies is uh, trying uh, really hard to help on the uh, uh, fiat on ramp. So that's why. Um, this, I think, is the one of the most important things because if users can easier to buy the crypto in the first place, it's very hard for them to um, to uh, to get into uh, our industry. Uh, I, I think this is the first one, and second one I think is the uh, uh, infrastructure. So we need to have like a better uh, infrastructure for the crypto um, uh, currency. Uh, for example, right now so, um, we, we have several collaboration also um, doing this. Uh, first of all, we collaborate with uh, Samsung. Um, uh, um, have the uh, Samsung device uh, embedded with Tron blockchain, so it's make a, a Samsung device available to everyone. So you don't need to install a blockchain wallet anymore. So uh, you can uh, right now Samsung support uh, for blockchain uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Clayton, and Tron. Um, so I, I think that's also very important since Samsung is right now the, the largest uh, um, uh, Android phone in the world. I think uh, if uh, imagine if like Samsung, Apple, um, uh, Huawei, and uh, Xiaomi, and uh, 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 like Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus, and like like all the phone manufacturer embrace the blockchain, it will definitely uh, bring like more people uh, into our industry too. But, uh, but what, what's the killer app, or what is the uh, the application that you think is going to drive adoption for people to even care about fiat on ramps, having secure elements on a Samsung smartphone. What, why, am, why is my mother going to care? Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, I think uh, there's a two things I think is very interesting in our industry. Um, first of all, um, uh, still, I think is that the app. So uh, after um, the Samsung and all the phone manufacturer embrace the um, blockchain infrastructure, we can see more and more uh, apps they can use like blockchain as well of the uh, their currency or payment solution or, or even um, there is have lots of the interesting uh, change. For example, they can change the the tokens in their games into the real tokens, right? So you can even trade with those tokens. So. Uh, and, and I think this is a very uh, big change because before that, uh, we only have like uh, a very small developers, right? Like like Crypto Kitties, uh, they are like very small developers. But in the future, we we can expect it. We we can have EA, 
uh, or like Supercell, those like very large game developers, uh, they will uh, move to the blockchain. So that's why uh, first thing I think is very interesting. Uh, we'll bring a lot of the people on board. Uh, second thing, definitely, I think is uh, uh, is one of the job we are doing right now. So we integrate the the Tron blockchain uh, with the BitTorrent protocol. So lots of the people um, will start to uh, use the uh, because BitTorrent has like more than one hundred million active users amounts. So um, they can easier to download um, download the files uh, uh, with incentive. Also, they can pay the tokens to accelerate their downloading. Um, so that's also um, something I think uh, is a very uh, has has a very large user base, and at the same time it uses the blockchain to accelerate the um, the process. Can you expand on that? So so let's take a step back because I don't think uh, uh, everyone knows that that uh, effectively Tron owns BitTorrent. Yeah. So one, can you explain why you did that? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. the use case around being able to provide more seeds uh, effectively potentially in the future for Tron, I assume. Could you explain that as well? And, and I think that's a very interesting use case. Yeah, totally. So um, so first of all, I will introduce how like BitTorrent works. So the traditional um, downloading system is th there is a file. So everybody go to download the files, right? So the more people download the file, actually um, the speed gets slow, slower because uh, um, people split the bandwidth and split the resources. Um, so um, BitTorrent actually is the first like a P2P user case even before the Bitcoin. So um, so B BitTorrent, um, the mechanism is very simple. So like everybody joined the network, um, they got a piece of the files and they upload and download the files with each other. So that's uh, actually um, uh, changed the uh, entire mechanism too. So um, so basically, uh, this is how like BitTorrent work in the first place. So uh, we can we can bear in mind is like the more people get on board, actually the protocol get faster. So um, so but the, BitTorrent has been like running okay for almost like fifteen years. Um, but there also has like a, a, a problem inside of the BitTorrent protocol. It's because uh, all the BitTorrent users, when they join the protocol, right now they just upload the files in the goodwill. So uh, in in the beginning, of course, they join the protocol by uploading the files because they can download the files, right? After they download, finish downloading the files, um, they only upload uh, the files for uh, free, basically, uh, in the goodwill. So that's why there is lots of the torrent, torrent clients even help the user to shut down the upload uh, once they finish the downloading because they don't want to waste their bandwidth, right? So mm -hmm. uh, that's why we want to introduce the cryptocurrency into the pro um, BitTorrent protocol. So we invented a token called BTT. Uh, so uh, if you can uh, download the files, you can earn BTT um, um, from other people. And then uh, if you have BTT, you can spend the BTT to accelerate the downloading process. So um, that's why I, I think this is a very good user case because lots of the people these days can just open their computer, uh, upload the files, and they can earn money, right? So, and, and of course, it will uh, make the BitTorrent pro protocol more available to everybody in the world because uh, um, there is more seeds actually. Because these days, for example, uh, only the uh, the um, the topest uh, files has the seeds because lots of the people download it and they uploading, right? And lots of the files, if less people care about it, most of the people will exit from the protocol and there is no people uploading the files at all. So that's why I think once we introduce this kind of incentive mechanism into the BitHorn protocol, we'll definitely on one hand make the BitHorn protocol stronger and on another hand introduce a very large uh, blockchain user case, easier for everyone. Uh, so I, I also want to emphasize why blockchain is better than other uh, channels um, because um, the piece of the files is so small. If you want to use like a traditional uh, fiat channel to pay other person, it is impossible because every transaction 
they're gonna cost lots of the money. But with right now the Tron blockchain, um, it's merely like zero uh, trading fee, uh, zero transaction fee on that. So that's also um, the lower fee of the cryptocurrency uh, and the blockchain really helped uh, to build this kind of the new mechanism. So what happens in that use case if there's 100 million people <laughs> Using BTT on Tron, can it still support microtransactions to deal with these, uh, let's call them congestion charges? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, so, um, so for, first of all, I think uh, right now we uh, we are in a test mode. So we uh, right now we are building the whole infrastructure and uh, uh, release to uh, our limited amount of users to see if we can um, 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 take the the traffic. And then on the other hand, we have several like uh, sidechain solutions. So 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 basically, the um, the idea is very simple. So mm -hmm. we will um, deposit a certain amount of the BTT and TRX on the sidechain. So uh, the sidechain will process on its own, and after this, they will upload the results into the main chain. So so that's how we uh, um, 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 try to scale scale our blockchain to meet the requirements of the BitTorrent protocol. Got it. So there's a lot of talk right now about uh, Ethereum's plans for scalability, uh, proof of stake versus proof of work. Yeah. Um, I, I'm curious, where do you come out on that? And how does that relate to how people should think about why Tron is better? Yeah, sure. Totally. Um, so, so, so first of all, I think both like POW, POS, depots, like all the different kind of the uh, consensus mechanism, uh, all have their advantage and disadvantage. So, um, so that that's why I think like everybody actually has their position. So I'm not like prefer, for example, like proof of stake rather than like a, a, a proof of work, right? Um, this is the first point, and then the second point I think uh, this is. But um, like all the protocol and internet product is all about like serve the users, provide a better user uh, experience. Um, so um, so for like um, since the beginning, like years Tron was founded, we always focusing on uh, improve the user uh, experience of the uh, um, um, of the blockchain. So that's why um, after like uh, uh, a year development, Tron right now is like one of the most like popular DApp blockchain in the world because uh, we are always trying to um, provide better uh, transaction uh, experience and the user experience. Um, I can give you several examples. Uh, first of all, we, we are like much faster than Ethereum. So lots of the uh, blockchain, if they want to, um, um, uh, use the faster blockchain or if they want to use on uh, the apps if they want to uh, use the blockchain like uh, uh, freely um, they can use Tron rather than Ethereum and then the second thing is uh, Ethereum has a very high gas fee so um, you, it, it's very hard for you to um, use the Ethereum blockchain in the first place but for Tron all the gas fee is free so mm -hmm. uh, we um, give all the cost to the developers so that developers can pay for all their users' uh, gas fee. So, uh, so that's why the users they don't even know they they need to pay the gas fee in the Tron blockchain because the developer uh, um, take all the cost. And, and then third thing, uh, of course, is uh, uh, we building uh, like a very good infrastructure for the uh, for the uh, developers in in our whole ecosystem. Um, so we have like like a very good dedicated team. Uh, serve the like like the developers so um so most of the ethereum developers they can't get support from the uh, foundation and also ethereum itself but we have a very dedicated team they, they will educate it, the developers and that the educated like everyone how to use the blockchain and help them to bring them on board yep do you think that uh in china it will be open decentralized projects like Tron that ultimately get adopted? Or do you think that it will need to be more permission models uh, like what the government's talked about or like the Libra model where you can basically roll back a transaction that, that will ultimately get uh, the support in China? Yeah, uh, I think first of all, eventually, I think China will brace the, like the blockchain uh, industry. 
um, because for example, like recently, like Xinhua uh, 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 news, like one of the most uh, official government uh, news channel in China, uh, they public like, like an article uh, say about blockchain actually is the first user case of the uh, blockchain. Uh, so Bitcoin is the first case of the uh, user case of the blockchain. Um, so that's why I think eventually for those permissionless blockchain, uh, as we say, like a public chain these days, uh, will eventually get adopted uh, in China. Um, that That's the first of my opinion. Uh, second, I think definitely uh, from beginning, China will more advocate for those uh, uh, um, uh, alliance chain, so, uh, so-called alliance chain, which means is uh, uh, is uh, uh, you need to get the permission to use those blockchain. So it's more like a giant enterprise. They join each other and then they, they form like like a blockchain uh, more like this. So um, uh, for example, like the newly uh, uh, introduced uh, uh, Chinese government digital currency DCEP uh, uh, released some detail of their blockchain. So you can see uh, it's fully uh, uh, invited. So it, it's just like Libra. So the the, uh, the nodes need to be uh, invited by the Central Bank of China. So they invited, for example, like Ali, uh, Tencent, like, like, uh, and also other commercial banks as well. So uh, I think they will uh, first go with the alliance chain first and then gradually like move to the public chain. Are they forking an existing project to do that, to your knowledge, or is, is it uh, something they developed uh, in-house uh, within the government? Oh, sure. Uh, first of all, I, I don't think they, um, um, I think eventually they're going to use one of the solutions in our industry. So, so basically for, but they, they haven't like, um, introduced the detail of their blockchain yet. So it's not like open source. You can't check it. Maybe try. Yeah, I, I, I think so because one of the reason, um, Depots actually is a, a perfect, um, one of the perfect example, um, for the government, if they want to use like uh, uh, introduce the nodes and also at the same time ha- have like high scalability, actually, um, the the consensus mechanism we use like depots is actually one of the I, I mean the the best solution actually for the government because the only alteration you need to do is you just just change the the election part, right? So right now the Chuang super representative is elected by community. You just Eliminate the um, the election part, so just make those nodes like to be uh, 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 get permission from the government, so you 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 can down with the, the whole blockchain. Do you have let's let's come back to Tron. I can talk about China all day. So yeah, uh, fascinating. Do you know how many developers are working on on um, using Tron today in some way? Yeah, sure, uh, totally. I want to introduce like some of the biggest user case right now running on the blockchain. Uh, first of all, we uh, we got like very uh, dedicated team. Uh, they uh, work on product called Wink uh, 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 I encourage everyone to uh, check on the website. So w i n k dot org. So this is uh, basically a gaming platform. There is lots of the game uh, uh, running on the platform. It, it's actually uh, very uh, fascinating. Uh, I I play like the Wink org all the time uh, to okay. check. They introduce like any new games on the on the yeah. blockchain. Um, I think this is very um, interesting. So um, so definitely, I encourage everyone to check on that. Uh, now, and do, they, do those games generally use the Tron token, or do they create their own tokens? Oh, um, they have their own tokens, but the um, called the Win W I N. But the Win token is more like a Binance um, BNB token. So it's more like the, the the revenue they earn and the profit they earn on the platform they um they distribute it or burn the token. So right. um, but so right now still um they um uh, originally they support um the Tron blockchain and the uh, BTT TRX uh, USDT and uh, on Tron so those tokens and right now they also are moving on support. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, uh, Litecoin, and the Ethereum as well. So, so they they are aiming to be like one of the uh, uh, biggest the gaming platform on the blockchain. Um, I think this is the first one. Uh, uh, it's a very good user case. And of mm-hmm. course, right now Tron already have more than 
um, 650 dApps running on Tron blockchain. Uh, Wink is right now the largest uh, on the Tron blockchain. Uh, but still, um, uh, I, I think we have other blockchains, uh, other dApps as well. They, they are running like very good on Tron blockchain. And then the um, the second thing I want to introduce is uh, uh, USDT on Tron. So um, it's just start in uh, in in very um, uh, lately. So just like start from like uh, uh, December. So it's just a, a month ago. Uh, start from like less than uh, ninety million dollars. But right now we already have uh, eight eight million dollars right right now issue on the Tron blockchain. So this is right now the third largest stable coin in the whole industry. I think that's uh, also a very good user case. Lots of the people use the Tron blockchain to pay each other. I even know like some of the uh, companies started using the USDT on Tron to pay their employee um, to make the payment as well. So that's why I think this is also a very uh, good user case um, in, in our blockchain. Uh, and, and then the third, of course, is the uh, uh, BitTorrent um, protocol we want to introduce. I think this will uh, release uh, um, at the end of this year. So um, you can see lots of the update. Uh, and also, I think this is also going to drive a lot of the uh, traffic and the attention into our industry as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think that, uh, uh, well, first of all, just coming back to the developer community, yeah. uh, how many developers work on Tron uh, inside of, of, of the, the foundation or, or the organization? Oh, sure. First of all, I think for uh, for foundation itself, we have 300 employees, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, most of our employee is still like working on improve the protocol itself, uh, the governance of the protocol, and also help to serve the developers to make their own development. Uh, so, so, for example, we have a very active uh, Discord group. So the Discord group is all for um, um, uh, the Tron development. Uh, and, and also we have more than um, um, 3,000 uh, developers um, working on Tron right now. Uh, um, for, for example, uh, our um, Discord um, uh, group, we have uh, thousands of the uh, developers uh, and, and in, in different language, you have like Chinese, English, um, uh, uh, Japanese, Korean, Turkish, lots of other language as well. And also, uh, even in, in, in China, we have a WeChat group. Uh, we have a three uh, 500 people group. It's also uh, dedicated um, developers working on the Tron um, protocol as well. So, mm -hmm. um, so that's why I think right now, um, even though we are in a, a bearish market, but uh, the Tron development and the developer community is, uh, is uh, uh, still stay very strong. Do you see people moving? I mean, basically, the Solidity contracts work uh, more or less in, in the Tron environment, right? So do you see a lot of people moving from Ethereum to, to Tron? And do you have kind of real world examples of that now? Yeah, totally. Um, I want to introduce two cases. Uh, first of the case, like right now, um, uh, before is the largest de developers are the EOS. Um, they develop EOS Knight. Uh, it's a very popular EOS game. So they um, migrate to Tron blockchain to develop like a new game called Night Story. So they will uh, release uh, very soon. And also uh, um, uh, uh, one of the largest Ethereum developer called uh, 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 Formos 3D. Uh, so they, they create oh, like, oh, uh, oh, yeah, at that time, uh, very uh, good uh, uh, Ethereum formal game actually on the Ethereum blockchain. They also migrate to Tron and they will uh, release a new version of the Tron game uh, very soon. So uh, I think this is just like two example, like Ethereum and the EOS biggest developer migrate to Tron. But definitely we have more uh, developers uh, migrate to Tron as well. So uh, because these days I know Ethereum is more migrate to uh, develop DeFi rather than DApp uh, in the future. Um, so, so that's why I think we uh, embrace the DApp industry uh, still. So we have lots of developers right now is uh, working like uh, actively on Tron blockchain to develop lots of the interesting game. And for the uh, DeFi, actually, we also have some updates. Uh, first of all, is the USDT Tron, of course, we uh, have 
eight million dollars right now uh, running on Tron blockchain. And also, uh, we have like a Tron version of the MakerDAO uh, will be also introduced at the end of the year. So we will also have this uh, uh, um, two different kind of the stable coin. Uh, one is like USDT. So you have like a real uh, currency, uh, US dollar currency as a reserve. And, and also, of course, like a MakerDAO, you, you have the uh, cryptocurrency as a reserve and issue the stable coin. So we will have these two stable coin uh, at the end of this year. Do you find that the exchanges are willing to provide liquidity uh, options for Tron-based coins like a Tron Dai or a Tron, you know, uh, t- Tether, um, or is that an uphill battle for you guys? Yeah, sure. Um, so this is definitely one of the biggest uh, important uh, things we are doing right now. So, um, so um, in the August, uh, we collaborate with Huobi, Binance, uh, Bitrix, uh, Bitfenix. Uh, Plonex, uh, uh, and uh, uh, Tron, um, uh, USDT Tron. So mm-hmm. that's why we drive a lot of the attention and the user case on the Tron blockchain. And also uh, at this month, we will collaborate with uh, uh, OKEX, uh, Bitfenix, uh, and, and other exchange as well. Uh, so to uh, to further like drive the user case of the USDT Tron. Uh, I think at the end of this year, uh, we are expected to uh, have like over $1 billion issue on Tron blockchain. And also uh, for the DAI, of course, it's the same. So uh, after we introduce uh, at the end of this year, uh, we will try to make the, this uh, uh, stable coin available in all the major exchange changes as well. Yep. What do you think about the future of banking as it relates to crypto? Do you think that um, crypto has an important place in the future of retail banking, or do you see it as kind of its own thing separate from the rest of banking? Oh, sure. Um, even though lots of the people is pessimistic about the, like the banking and the crypto world, like they join together. But actually, I, I, I feel like actually we have like s- several like a good user case actually. In our industry, for example, like uh, uh, Sewergate, like recently go IPO uh, in in uh, in the uh, in United States, and Sewergate actually is uh, uh, famous for um, serving the um, uh, OTC desk and lots of the trading um, platform. I, I mm-hmm. think this is actually a very uh, good news in our industry because you you know um, before that uh, I have gotten into the crypto industry since two thousand and twelve. At that time, a lot of the people, if they want to be become like the banking uh, channel for the crypto exchange or OTC desk, they will get uh, arrested or even charged for like money laundry at that time. You know, uh, like like lots of the people provide the channels for the empty gox got arrested, and at the early days, like Big Bit Phoenix, uh, 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 their um, uh, um, banking channel also get shut down. Lots of the time, so this is on uh, the first time. I, I think we have like a very legit bank start to provide the services for the blockchain industry, and, and also, uh, of course, as you know, like recently, uh, Fidelity and also uh, other like very big, large institutions start to um, getting ready for their uh, trading exchange business or or the um, the custodian business as well. So that's why I, I, I'm optimistic about like the banking and the crypto world. Even even I believe still uh, the crypto world itself they, they will have their own ecosystem, right? So uh, like crypto um, always crypto um, crypto to crypto, but I definitely uh, see the trend. Actually, the banking also is try to embrace the blockchain. Yeah. What what was the original attraction for you in the first place to get into this crazy crypto world? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's uh, around 2012. I I just read an article in the New York Times about blockchain. Uh, and at that time, there's no blockchain. There's only Bitcoin. So uh, I, I read an article about Bitcoin. And, and uh, I, I think Bitcoin is very cool because uh, in the article, they they uh, they give like an example. It's a... Uh, uh, before the Bitcoin, if you pass the custom, uh, custom, uh, if you want to pass the custom, uh, there is a, a dog a sniff like trying to get you arrested if you bring like more cash in your bags, right? So actually, the blockchain is the uh, and the Bitcoin is the first user case 
you can bring like uh like like no matter no, no matter like like how much of the money just in in your UBS or just in like a files with the uh secret key right you can't mm-hmm. even get to know by the customs actually you you are bringing a lot of the money <laughs> with yourself the, they call it the what do they call it the brain key where you basically memorize yeah, yeah. yeah exactly exactly and nobody can can steal your money right because right. Where you're exactly. this yeah. is uh on tw- in the two, 2012 I th- at that time when i read the newspaper uh i think this is the uh in in the human history this is the first time you can fully on your uh, uh assets actually without like robbed by anybody so so, so so what did you do you 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 read this article you what did you do did you, did you, you bought some bitcoin what, what happened next oh yeah sure uh i i bought lots of the bitcoin at the time after i read the, the article even though at that time i was just like a college student actually i don't have lots of the money uh and and the, and 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 and, the, and then the and then i start to trying to uh, join like a bitcoin company to if uh see i can find a job because the day i find out the bitcoin is the same day uh because i graduate in 2013 so it's the wow. same time i need to graduate like find a job at, at that time before i find out i was uh have two choices uh, even like joining in investment banking because I graduate from UPenn. So UPenn is famous for uh, go to the consulting for, firm and the investment banking firm. Uh, and also the second thing is I may apply for the law school. So I study LSAT, but actually read this article changed my life entirely because I know uh, the Bitcoin has a bright future. And at that time, you know, uh, there is a conference called uh, Money 2020. And then they said, like, in in the day of, like, 2020, like, everybody going to stop, like, using fiat, change to, like, uh, like a Bitcoin, right? So even though, I mean, uh, uh, next year is 2020, we definitely didn't see, like, people change to use Bitcoin. But so what, what was the first, did you have a, uh, what was your first job related to crypto then? Oh, yeah. So that's when I, I, I find out the job opportunity in Ripple. So that's why I, I joined the, like a repo uh, uh, and, and joined the company in California. So um, so so that uh, that's how I get to the crypto industry. So I buy the Bitcoin and then find my first job in the in the blockchain world. Um, so, yeah. So that was working with Chris back in at the beginning of, of the. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I work uh, with, uh, cl- very closely with Chris Larson in 2014 uh, and 2015. Uh, uh, so um, so I think this is also uh, helped me a lot on building my career and also know a lot of the people uh, in this industry. Gotcha. So, so what gave you the idea for Tron? Was this while you were at Ripple? Oh yeah, sure, totally. So uh, when, when first when I uh, joined uh, 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 Ripple, uh, because you know the Ripple is doing more like enterprise business or like a banking uh, blockchain. So I actually put lots of the efforts on uh, uh, finding the uh, banks uh, to see if they are willing to use uh, like a blockchain. At that time, it's like Ripple uh, XRP as one of the solution to accelerate the um, the um, the um, the uh, the banking system, um, and also at the same time, I find out there's actually a lot of the demands on the on the user uh, uh, demands on the blockchain. So um, so that's why first when the Ethereum com- comes out in 2015, I think Ethereum actually a good opportunity for like serving the individual developer or the small enterprise or the uh, 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 consumer uh, blockchain. So that's why I, I I believe the consumer blockchain actually have like a, a bigger chance actually in our industry. So that's why I left the company to start like a trunk uh, facing on the consumer blockchain. Uh, I think first of all, we, we have uh, the bright future also on enterprise as well. But uh, as you know, like the the first industry at that time um, to first adopt it the internet is still is the consumer, right? Uh, r- rather than like a big enterprise like like IBM or uh, other companies. 
So that's why uh, uh, I think if we believe the um, blockchain is the same as internet, uh, we will be uh, at the early stage, we need to focus more on the consumer uh, rather than the enterprise. So that's the, one of the reason why uh, I, uh, I started the consumer uh, facing blockchain uh, as, a, as brand did Trump, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so now it's uh, what, almost seven, eight years since you yeah. read this time article. Yeah. If you could snap your fingers and have one thing magically happen uh, in, in our cryptocurrency world, what would that one thing be? Um, I wish what would, you, what would you change. Yeah. So, uh, I wish like some days, like, um, so, so basically, uh, for example, um, uh, from my perspective, um, I wish, uh, like, uh, like, like one day, like all the computer and, uh, uh, a phone, uh, uh, and also other, uh, 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 device, they can, they can all embedded with the blockchain so they can, uh, easy, very, very easier to interact with each other. So mm -hmm. uh, that that's also the reason why we um, um, started Tron in the first place. We want to build the infrastructure for the um, the financing infrastructure for the uh, for all the like 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 the device in the world. So that's also the why uh, I name after the blockchain is Tron. So Tron is the first like virtual world actually. Mm -hmm introduced by the movie you know even before the matrix so um so i want to i want the blockchain to be the infrastructure a finance infrastructure for the virtual world so like every uh, in the future maybe like after like 100 years later like there is no no even reality exists right everybody is on, on the on the virtual world just like matrix right at the time the people in the virtual world they will use the blockchain as the like like their payment channel and also the, the way how they uh, uh run the finance services. So maybe after the singularity, we all have to <laughs> yeah, have exactly chip embedded with uh, cellular IoT connectivity and a blockchain and yeah, and, and you a, can upload your money like and throw money at each other virtually, and it will land in my head and uh, be recorded on the blockchain. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so let's maybe uh, we get a little more realistic, I guess, for the next year or so. Yeah. So, wh what do you think is, uh, or what do you think will be the most important developments in in crypto for the next six to twelve months? Um, first of all, I think from our side, uh, I think the um, uh, still, I believe the um, Bitorum will be a very uh, large like user case or uh, or uh, adoption of, of the blockchain. Uh, I think this is uh, very promising and also will introduce a lot of the users into our industry. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I think the, the next uh, six uh, six months, the change, also, I think the Samsung will be a very uh, good example. Um, because next year uh, in Seoul, uh, uh, we will have like a Nitron Summit. Uh, we will introduce the Samsung, um, uh, join our Summit as well. Samsung will uh, release a new uh, blockchain phone on the uh, on our Nitron Sami as well. So uh, I will um, uh, uh, show like one of the new uh, Samsung phone um, with uh, blockchain inside of Samsung phone. So th this time they they released the Fold phone, you know, Galaxy Fold, uh, and, and also the next year uh, uh, in the in the March uh, at the end of the February, they they will uh, release a new blockchain phone. So, so that's why I think after the, the, the phone manufacturer provide this kind of infrastructure for the developers, we will see lots of the lo uh, very large uh, game developers start to use blockchain, uh, which I think this is also very fascinating. And also, of course, we will see like Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, uh, uh, and OnePlus and other um, Android um, phone manufacturer start to embrace or even apple start to embrace the blockchain that's why i, I think after this kind of the infrastructure built for the blockchain we will see lots of the changes happens in our industry yeah yeah do you um you know we uh we track hundreds of tokens at abra yeah both uh, kind of ico oriented tokens uh obviously the most important protocol tokens yeah. uh, that, that we consider you part of do you do you foresee a, a future where there's thousands of, of, of tokens running on your chain or 
on your protocol or do you see do you see like most of them go away i mean what, what do you think happens there yeah sure totally i i First of all, I'm a huge believer of the tokens. I think in the future, uh, there are going to be like millions uh, or, or even uh, uh, tens of the millions the token will issue on the, uh, on the blockchain. Uh, the reason is very simple. I can just give you an example. For, for right now, like Samsung built the blockchain already, right? And, and in the next six months, lots of the game developers, they will start to build on Samsung. And they will issue their token definitely on the blockchain. The token will be like very easy token, like just like these days we play like for uh, for, for 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 example like uh, uh, um, uh, uh, like like uh, uh, player unknown, right? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, and also uh, other lots of the game like all the games on the uh, uh, on the Apple Store, uh, Samsung Store, Google Play. Each game will all, all have their own token, so you can feel free to exchange on the blockchain to trade them just from the trading engine inside of the uh, uh, games. You can feel free to trade the, the token, earn the token. So so that's why I think every game should have their own tokens and you can uh, uh, make free to trade, you know. So uh, even like every games you can have, for example, like two tokens, three tokens, right? So, you, you know, these days, like every game, they have like diamonds, they have coins, they have golden coins. Right, they already have different kind of tokens. So, so right now, like there is a already like over one million games are, like available in in the industry. Imagine like every games have their own tokens. Um, um, that that's why I think we we are like uh, facing an era we will have lots of the tokens actually issue on the blockchain. Um, so so those token is all utility token it's uh all used to buy the um stuff in the games or earn kill the monster earn the token so that that's why i i think we need to see a, we will see a lot of the tokens issue on the blockchain uh and remember the the last time why the 2017 we have a bull market the biggest reason is uh, ethereum actually open a gate for everybody to issue tokens before that, there is only like Ripple, Litecoin, like like uh, uh, Bitcoin, and and also issue like a token is very hard actually, right? You right. E- even at that time it's very simple actually. If you got like several like uh, uh, developers, they can easier fork the Bitcoin data, right? It, it's how Litecoin come into place in the first place. Just change some like uh, 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 features in the Bitcoin, and you can make a Litecoin. But still, the threshold is too high, you know compared to the Ethereum. So Ethereum, when they have the ERC-20 standards, you can easier to issue tokens, right? So we we, we start you facing like, like a big bull market. I, I think um, the, 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 the third way we still like the same, um, but, but the reason is different. So, so, so the, the second wave is because people want to raise money and uh, use the token. So, um, so they create the Ethereum uh, uh, and these kind of the bull, um, bull markets. I, I think the third uh, wave is more like lots of the games and other developers start to uh, issue the token on the blockchain because this is easier for them to communicate each other and easier for them to make settlement inside of the uh, computer. Because, you know, if you introduce the blockchain into the ecosystem, you don't need to have any uh, collaborate with PayPal or any other Apple Pay and other payment channel anymore. You you can just do the settlement inside of the game. That that's I think is very revolution. Actually, lots of people haven't thinking about this. You you can actually do the settlement inside of the blockchain inside yeah. of the. Game. You don't need to go out of the game anymore, right? Yeah. You can yeah. you can sell turn to fiat, right? Turn to USDT, turn to other tokens. And then you can feel free to 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 sell the token, earn money. So so that's why I think if the millions of the games start to issue tokens on the blockchain, it's go- definitely gonna bring like a huge um, bull markets in the future. But like, like gaming is almost showing us the future of banking. Yeah, exactly. An economy, and, right? And, and, and the game is also a virtual world. You know, when when you play all those games, you you are like a one hundred percent inside of the games. Right. So, yeah. so, um, so, so, actually, the blockchain provide the infrastructure for those virtual games to make settlement inside of their games without like going to other pages or without like going going to 
like other place to change for the token. I, I, I don't know if you know, like at that time, you, you know, like, like uh, um, uh, a lot of the very um, popular uh, uh, g- games, uh, uh, like, like uh, uh, um, LOL uh, and the other games, um, they, they also have those like golden miners. So you can, uh, you, you can exchange your gold for money. But, but it's very hard for you to do that. You need to be, uh, you because all the like Steam and other platform is shut down those channels. You need to like like go to like a very uh, uh, another website, right? You need to yep. post it your your accounts and also uh, and because the Steam shut down all the channels. And if they find out you trade tokens, they're gonna shut down your your account. You know, it's very hard for people to trade their assets or their their uh their their uh earnings in the in the games but eventually i think the with the samsung and those developers start to support the blockchain you can easier to make the settlement inside of the the, the game so that's I, I think it's definitely gonna bring a huge traffic and a huge under like like a massive uh understanding of how blockchain means i mean uh for for the whole industry yeah, well, we can hear how how excited you get when when we talk about the the, the, the token economy as it relates yeah. to gaming. Yeah, uh, I'm guessing that's personally uh, very very interesting for you as somebody who's been looking at peer to peer networks like BitTorrent for since you could. Um, that's been an interesting topic for me pre Bitcoin. I'm I'm really fascinated about how you know crypto and 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 file sharing networks and and gaming. It's all kind of coming together now and kind of this rebirth of decentralization which was the whole point of the internet yeah and totally. i'm really hoping that we can get back to that as opposed to these yeah, kind of things and also i think it's a very um um be- before the blockchain was introduced there is also a very sad um sad facts it's even though the internet is afraid but lots of the uh, regulators or the uh lots of the people outside of internet if they want to try to um, um, try to um, control the internet or strangle the internet. They has a very good solution. It's uh, just become a block the fear on ramp. You, yeah. you can kill the internet. You know, yeah. if you like make like a website, but nobody can pay for the website, or no nobody can uh, uh, pay the money to the website. The website gonna die, right? Because you don't have the money to sustain the the the, the website. The game is the same. So if the game they, they can't receive the money from like Apple Pay or Samsung Pay or other like payment channels, it's gonna kill the game. So that's why all those regulators they can easier to impose their uh, their 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 orders uh, on those internet creators because if you didn't listen to me, I'm gonna shut down all the like a fee a ramp for you. You know I can close your business very easy, but. After the blockchain is all changed, because you know, imagine all the games website they can settle on on their own, you know, with all the tokens, Bitcoin, and the other blockchain in the world. There, there's actually, I mean, free the internet entirely. They they can just uh, depends on their own. They don't need to like listen to like any authority like anymore because they can. Uh, they 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 have like a self sustained business model, right? Just on their own, you know, use the blockchain. Yep. Yep. So I love your enthusiasm. Uh, if people want to follow you and, and or find out more about what, about your work, what's the best way to do that? Uh, my Twitter account. So Justin Sound Trong. Uh, it's uh, very easy. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so, Justin, uh, you know, we're really excited about uh, the Tron project. You know, we, we support uh, Tron inside the Apple wallet now. Uh, people can deposit, withdraw. They can buy in in dollars or they can buy in Asia and other currencies. So, so on behalf of the community, thank you very much for, for your efforts in, in, uh, you know, building such a really cool, uh, project. And, uh, we love the, the way you brought, uh, BitTorrent and, and, and Tron together. And we're really excited to see, uh, what comes of this over the next uh, several years. We know this is not a, not a one inning game, as we say in the U S it's a, it's a multi inning game. And I think we're in inning one yeah. and, um, you know, you people like yourself are the reasons why we have this really vibrant ecosystem now. So, so thank you for your efforts, and uh, you know we look forward to supporting you guys at Abra, and uh, seeing what uh, what comes next. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, my pleasure. So, hey, we'll stop there. Uh, this has been a, one one of my favorite episodes, I think, to date. So thank you so much, Justin from Tron. Um, can't wait to get this out there.
So we'll call it a day. Uh, and this is a wrap uh, for another episode of uh, Avra's Money 3.0. Thanks, yeah. everyone. Thanks. Thanks again for listening to the Money 3.0 show. We hope you liked this episode as much as we did. If so, please subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts. And be sure to download the Avra app wherever you get your apps.